In a previous video, I presented a two-wire serial data transmission between two Arduinos. In this video, serial data transmission between two AT89S52 microcontrollers is demonstrated. C language is used to program the transmitter and receiver controllers. A block diagram of the serial data transmission system is shown here. We have two AT89S52 microcontrollers serially interfaced using two-wire connection. We have a data line and we have a clock line. Data synchronization between the transmitter and the receiver is achieved by sending clock pulses along with data pulses, as seen in this diagram. Each data pulse is accompanied with a clock pulse and at the trailing edge of the clock pulse, interrupt zero at the receiver microcontroller is triggered, which then executes the interrupt service routine, which is then used to capture the bit value and store it. The operation of the system is as follows. At the transmitter side, the user inputs a byte and then presses the transmit button. The byte is then serially transmitted along the data line along with the clock signal. At the receiver side, the byte is then displayed on the LCD screen. In this demonstration, we press the transmit button and note the received byte displayed on the LCD screen. This is the C code of the transmitter. Inside the main function, we set uh, port 2 as input port and uh, the switch is connected to an input uh, digital pin. Within a indefinite while loop and if we press the switch, we get the byte from port 2 and then using this uh, for loop, we will extract the bits from the byte starting from the most significant bit. So we extract the bit and then send it over the data line and then we send the clock pulse. This process is repeated eight times. This is the C code for the receiver. Inside the main function we enable external interrupt zero and then we enable interrupt all of the microcontroller. Then we set uh, interrupt zero to be triggered by a falling edge pulse. Then we initialize the LCD screen and then we display on the first and second line of the display uh, some text messages. And then we go into this indefinite while loop doing nothing but pending for an external interrupt to occur. When a clock pulse is detected at pin interrupt 0, external interrupt 0 occurs and the program jumps from the main function into this uh, interrupt service routine where the received bit is stored in this variable and then displayed on the LCD screen. In a future video, the system will be modified to include channel coding to enable reliable data communication. Thank you for watching.